Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day today, so no walkers. Uh, so I'm being a little lazy and not going for a walk. Hopefully it'll be a little better in the next couple days, but who knows? Uh, I guess we're all just taking a day at a time. Uh, there is a lot of uncertainties, a lot of questions, a lot of things that just can't be answered right now. No matter how, no matter how much searching we do, no matter how many questions we ask, that just sometimes there is no answers right away. Uh, and so I think that's probably what's prompted so many people to panic. That's why people are buying more toilet paper than they know what to, well, you know what to do with toilet paper, but uh, you have way more than you need or that are cleaning out shelves like there's not going to be any way to shop anymore. Um, I th we're going to be okay. We're going to survive this. Uh, that uh, we are very uh, prayerful and um, thankful for all of our medical professionals, uh, for those who are caring for it, for those with the disease and so many other medical issues. Uh, we know that there are people affected and there are people at risk. And we do continue to keep you all in our prayers because it is uncertain. Uh, this is something new. It's not something we've ever encountered before. Uh, but when we let fear drive our actions, we don't always think very clearly. It's kind of like, a, you know, there's all this neurological stuff about the brain. It's that amygdala, which is that back here in your brain, that's just that fight or flight uh, reactive part of ourselves that uh, that just, just goes forward without thinking, uh, that we need to take a step back. And, and having to be in quarantine or having to just be social distancing with one another, uh, that then we are forced to take that step back and to stop and to think a little bit and to pray a whole lot, um, not only for ourselves, but, but also as Christians, as people of faith, as a church, we are called to then pray for one another and to pray for those who have no one to pray for them. Uh, and so we do that. And so we seek God's strength and God's patience. Uh, we seek the compassion and the love of Christ uh, that enables us to think beyond ourselves and to think about others. So that's part of what's coming up, as you can give you a little preview. Uh, for Sunday morning's worship, uh, we will again be having Sunday morning worship, but just me by myself. Uh, I will be in the sanctuary because it just feels right to do that right now. Um, and uh, you'll be sent tomorrow, uh, you'll be sent kind of an order of worship uh, to be able to follow along with, along with some links for music, uh, both to sing along with some hymns, some pretty familiar hymns. I'll be singing the first verse of each one, so uh, you can sing along with me at home, uh, or you can do it on your own. It'll be post. It'll be here on Facebook Live, and then I will be posting. I finally figured out how to do this to get it up on YouTube uh, so that you can watch it uh, later as well. Also, the videos that I've made so far this week, in addition to the Sunday Sunday sermon from this past week. Are now up on YouTube so you just go to YouTube and search for our Trinity Lutheran Church Brewster New York because uh, there's lots of Trinities out there uh, and you'll be able to find our channel and subscribe uh, and and see when when things have been uploaded there uh, so we're trying to keep folks in, in contact also I'm setting up some zoom meetings um, so uh, a couple coffee hours coming up uh, on Zoom uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock and then Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, a link was just sent out via email. Uh, if you didn't get it and you would like some information, uh, just let me know that and we can do that. Uh, you, just, you can either just phone call in uh, and you won't see anyone, but you'll be able to hear people. Um, and, but you can also, if you've got a, a mobile device or other uh, with your desktop camera and, um, and audio to be able to stream with that, um, you can participate in the Zoom. The Zoom, the first initial ones will just be a couple coffee hours just to check in, to see one another, um, and to talk with one another at least a little bit. Uh, and then we'll also be setting up um, some prayer groups and some Bible study as well as maybe some time with children. So if there's folks who have kids uh, who'd like to Zoom with me with the kids, uh, we'll set that up. Just email me so I know who to send the invitation to. I may just send out a general invitation, but I need to know kind of ahead of time how many people um, are thinking about participating in that. So we're trying, we're keeping connected as best we can. Um, continued prayers. Do feel free to contact me through this, through message, Facebook Messenger, email, text me on whatever you need. I'm usually up pretty late too because I have not, I'm no longer, I'm pretty much a night owl nowadays. So, uh, so if you'd like to do that, 
please do. Uh, in the meantime, continue to stay safe, physically distant from, from others, uh, but continue to keep close to one another uh, in spirit. And so uh, I'll see you soon. Have the rest of your day. I hope it's filled with many blessings. Take care.